Hey guys, it's Chris Monk at Highline Guitars and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take H. Balin's 4F Pumice Stone and use it as a basis for creating a solid color inlay design on a guitar. So stick around and learn something cool. The first thing I had to do was to create a design, which I did on my computer. I then used my CNC machine to carve that inlay design onto the guitar top. Of course, if you don't have a CNC machine, you can use a Dremel with a router base. And if you're really ambitious, you could use a hammer and a chisel. Okay, so here's how I create a solid color inlay material. It's kind of like a clay. What I'm going to use is... H. Balin's uh, pumice stone. This is their 4F grade, which is the finest grade of pumice. And what pumice is, is just crushed volcanic rock. So it, when mixed with, with water, it creates kind of a pasty clay-like sludge, so to speak. So I'm just going to dump some into this container. And then for both the color and the binder, I'm just using some, this is uh, water-based acrylic craft paint that you can get from you know any of your big box um, craft stores like Michael's Hobby Lobby and you just squirt some of that stuff into the container and it doesn't take much and then I'll just mix it up and add more if necessary And it's, it kind of mix up into a thick, pasty, sludgy material. Um, the thicker you make it, the less it shrinks when it dries. Because remember, this is water-based. So as the water evaporates, it will dry. And once I've got it nicely mixed up, uh, what I can do now is uh, apply this into my... Uh, carved inlay design on the guitar top and I'll pack the stuff in and build it up until it's proud of the surface and I'll let it dry and this stuff will take about about an hour or so to dry um, maybe get a little bit longer uh, but then as soon as it's dry I'll probably add a little bit more to the top a second layer of it and because what will happen is that first layer is going to probably shrink down into the design a little bit. So I want to build it up, uh, like I said, until it's proud of the surface. And then once I've got it proud of the surface, um, then I can uh, sand it down level and that'll be it. So this is the top of the guitar and I have packed in the design that I uh, carved into it with the uh, green clay paste pumice mix and I let it dry overnight and it, right now it's it's just above the surface so what I can do now is sand off that excess and leave just what's down in the inlay design. And there you have it. Pretty simple process. And the end result is quite nice. All I have to do is seal it. Well, I'll glue this down to the guitar body and then I'll, I'll stain it and then I'll seal it and then I'll put down some clear coats over the top to protect it. So there you go.